The band of rain hammering the Tasman region is also doing damage in the North Island. Josh Heslop joins us live from Paeroa. Josh. Hillary, up to 150 millimetres of rain is likely here in the Coromandel and the Bay of Plenty. That's around about this much rain, the length of a ballpoint pen. Now, some of these falls have been very heavy, but they are moving on very fast as well. For example, in Northland, they have clear blue skies right now, but just 12 hours ago, it was pouring with rain. Josh joins us now to give us an idea of what's happening. Josh. Good evening, Mike. Well, Cyclone Wilma is certainly making itself felt here in Auckland, just as people are heading away for the long weekend. Now, we have had a really heavy rain band moving down from Northland from this afternoon, and it is expected to get pretty stormy overnight, with up to 150 millimetres likely for places between Northland, right out to Gisborne as that storm tracks through. Severe wind gusts as well of up to 130 kilometres per hour for places like the Hodaki Gulf. Hi, the Rivonia X Tropical Cyclone Lucy is now trekking towards the South Island, travelling as a depression that's lost most of its power. In fact, the centre isn't as clear now, but it's currently sitting off the coast of Farewell Spit, draping the rest of its frontal activity right across the South Island. Lightning also struck TV3's Waitarua transmission tower, disrupting electronic operations for a couple of hours. Lightning strikes aren't uncommon here in Waiatoroa, but this is the first one that's caused damage in over 10 years. The MediaWorks microwave dish was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Normally, storms like the one battering Australia eventually make their way across the Tasman. So will it finally mean the end of the golden weather here? Josh Heslop is here to tell us. Good evening. We've actually got a bit of an unusual situation at the moment, and it's our weather that's contributing to the problems in Australia. What we've got is a large blocking high, and whilst it's delivering weeks of fine weather to us, it's also preventing any system moving across the Tasman. That's essentially locked the low in over Queensland, and it's that inability to move that's causing the large amount of rainfall. It's beginning to edge further south now, with Sydney expected to cop some high winds and heavy rain tonight. It should then clear Tasmania by the end of tomorrow. Good evening to you from the TV3 Derby Day here at Ellerslie Racecourse. This is the opening celebration of Auckland Cup Week and thousands of people have been here since 10.30 in the morning placing their bets. Now it has been slightly overcast all day but the rain has managed to stay at bay unlike last year and this is how it looked like on the satellite map today and all of that cloud actually streamed down over northern places from the tropics today. Cloud also pushed across the Tasman to cover southern New Zealand but once again, most places were dry underneath that strong ridge of high pressure. So everyone is switching into party mode here, and I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing very soon. If you manage to miss out on today, uh, there is a couple of other events coming up. We do have the Auckland Cup Day. That's on the 6th. And then we've also got Diamond Day on the 9th of March. Back to you, Hamish and Carolyn.